September is Suicide Prevention Awareness Month, and to close it out, we've got a story about how a high school basketball team from an Indian reservation helped heal their community that was dealing with suicide and trauma. The book is called Brothers on Three, and I recently spoke with the author, award-winning sports journalist, Abe Street. This Brothers on Three is a story of a remarkable group of young people who are also remarkable basketball players in a town called Arlie, Montana, on the Flathead Indian Reservation, which is home to the Confederated Salish and Kootenai tribes. And uh, I was very honored to spend time with them uh, during one of their championship basketball seasons. The Warriors are a high school championship basketball team that played a thrilling and distinctive style of basketball that brought great joy at a time of difficulty to the community. Yeah, you mentioned the difficulty. This book does discuss heavy issues, trauma, suicide, mental health. How was it affecting this community and how did this team rally behind them? Well, before or after games, they would say brothers on three, family on six. And before the games, their coach, Zayn and Pitts, would pray, let the refs keep up. And he meant it. And the team was just thrilling and it would brought incredible joy and they would win by 40 50 60 points and they won the state championship they also won uh, at a time when there had been a suicide cluster within the community so they played under great pressure and with with a lot of grace it's amazing when you see sports teams like this or actions like we see these stories happen all the time right a because these people come together, these communities come together, and it's not just a game anymore. It's not just a sport anymore. It really becomes something that's very healing. Well, it, it definitely was more than a game for this team. And during the second of their two championships, they, they made a couple of videos that were suicide prevention videos and videos about mental health that gave voice to a very, very difficult topic and did that with great humility and grace and sort of started these conversations between people to try to talk about an issue for which there aren't simple answers mm -hmm. for which that are is immensely complex. What they did was was astonishing and it was also more than simply just overcoming adversity. It's a story of hope and triumph. Brothers on Three is out now where books are sold. The story brings up the topic of suicide and mental health and its effect on a community. So we wanted to remind you that if you or someone you know is having suicidal thoughts, there is help out there. You can call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. The number is right there on your screen and the center is open 24-7, 365 days a year.